Hey, Manny centric. <laughs> you are so punctual. <laughs> I love it. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing Saturday and a great weekend. Can you guys let me know in the chat if you can hear me okay? Just really quick. You never know. Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> All right. So, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my fall rack for this year. So, I pulled... Um, a bunch of polishes that I'm hoping to wear this fall, and by a bunch, I mean way too many. <laughs> um, and I swatched them on a swatch wheel, and so I'm going to be showing them to you on the wheel and then showing you the bottles as well. And if you didn't know, this is part of a big collaboration here on YouTube with a ton of really talented nail YouTubers. I'll have all of their videos linked in the description box so you can go watch their videos too. I've been watching them all day and I think it's just so fun to see what everybody's chosen and see who's picked the same things. I can already tell you I've picked something, how do I say this? Every video I've watched, I have chosen a polish in common with that person. Um, so I think that's kind of fun, I really like that. Hey Holly, welcome. Good to see you Carolina, hey Manny Centric. So we'll go ahead and dive right in. Um, I will say the way that I structure my fall rack is I by no means am putting pressure on myself to wear all of the polishes I pick. Um, I love polish and I want it to be stress-free. So I just pick um, a bunch of polishes that I'd be interested in wearing. And then I kind of treat it like a buffet. I pick what I want and wear as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's how I treat a buffet. Um, so <laughs> I picked around 50 polishes. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. I picked around 50 polishes um, for my summer rack. I ended up wearing, I picked about 50 for my summer rack too. I ended up wearing 30. Um, so exactly 30, which is wonderful. So I'm hoping I can get through most of the ones I chose today. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to be showing them to you in rainbow order. Welcome, Michelle. Hey, Holly, look at you on time. <laughs> Welcome, Grace. Ooh, West Michigan. Awesome. Hey, Felicia. Welcome. All right. So we are starting off with a wildflower lacquer polish. It's got fuzzies. Sorry. <laughs> this one is called Vase of Base, and it was from a charity box this year. It's so pretty. It's got red to black multi-chrome pigment in it, but I feel like it pulls mostly red and look at all the rainbows you see on the side. And then it's got hollow flakes as well. Oh, so pretty. And then here's what it looks like on the swatch wheel. And it doesn't have any texture. It dried down really smooth with a glossy top coat. And I left all of the names of the polishes and I tried to stick to the order that I'm showing them to you today in the description box in case you wanna check them out. Some of them are limited edition, but I thought that might help you in case you wanna search for them in D-stashes or add them to your lemmings list. Um, so yeah, be sure to check out that description box. Um, I love that polish, I agree. I'm glad you like it too. Ooh, Sweden, cool, cool. Welcome, Alien Invited. Welcome, Hell of Nails. <laughs> Glad you guys made it. You do too, Carolina? That's awesome. <laughs> it's a gorgeous polish. I got to swatch it earlier, but I didn't get to actually wear it. Um, so I'm excited to wear it. Um, this next one is from Bees Knees Lacquer, and it is called Kumio, and it was from their Lovecraft Countries um, collection. Love cat. Blah. Lovecraft Country <laughs> collection released last year. This was actually the first Bees Knees Lacquer I, act I purchased from their site. Um, so, well, not the first, but this was the first collection that I purchased from their site. Um, and this one's just so gorgeous. Like it's got that deep jelly base and then um, all of that beautiful blue to green UP. Oh gosh, so pretty. It does take three coats to build up, but super, super worth it. It's that one right there. Ah, I think that one would be a really great transition from summer to um, fall, where it's still kind of bright. Um, I think I might wear it in the next little bit. Welcome, Amanda. Glad you made it. 
And then the next one is one of the only glitters I have on my rack, because if you're new to my channel, I don't wear that many glitter polishes. I mostly stick to shimmer and hollow and some flakes, um, but this was a glitter I just couldn't resist. This is Emily Damali Dead to the World, and it released earlier this year. It may still be available. I think it probably is, um, but it is a deep blood red base, jelly base with all of these red glitters. And I love it. As soon as I saw the, the swatches of it, I was like, um, yep, that's going to be mine. <laughs> so there it is on a nail wheel. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh. I think that one might be one I wear towards October, like near Halloween. Cause I think it's just perfect for Halloween. Welcome Sarah. The next one is one that I had in common with Manny Centric. She did a live stream this afternoon. If you missed it, I think you can probably catch it on replay on her channel. That's right, Manny Centric, right? <laughs> um, but she also pulled this one, and I love that we had it in common. It's Caloris to Carol Slappy's tie, and I haven't worn this one yet. I purchased it last year um, in the winter, I think, after I heard so many people talk about it. Um, I can't wait to wear it. The hollow is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Caloris to Carol's hollows in general. If you haven't tried them, try them. Like I always associate Caloris to Carol with her Crellies, but her hollows are straight up insanity. <laughs> and she's releasing more hollows um, this month, actually. And they just came in the mail today to swatch. I can't wait to share them with you. They look incredible. <laughs> How pretty. Yes, you've got to get it, Carolina. It is gorgeous. Ridiculous. I know, Sarah. That's why I'm on the fence about wearing it. I know it's going to stain my nails. Like, it's so crazy pigmented. Maybe I'll wear three layers of base coat <laughs> and really hope hard. Maybe that'll save them from staining. Welcome, JPT. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Jessica. Glad you guys made it. The next one is from OPI, and I don't um, wear that many OPI, but this one I did really want to wear. It's I Love You Just Be Cusco, <laughs> cute name, and it is just a gorgeous, like, deep red cream. I think it's coming off very color accurate on camera. I think this one just screams fall to me. Really beautiful formula, too. It was almost a one-coater, but for sure opaque in two. And I think I'll probably be wearing this one as a pedicure, maybe in the next month or so. Just so gorgeous. That's what I've been using too, Carolina. Anytime I have staining, which I have a little bit on this hand right now, but I'll use that Blue Cross cuticle remover and it makes a big difference. All right, I bet you're wondering what the next one is because, oh my goodness, it's a showstopper. <laughs> it is from Polish and it's called Calcifer. Woo! <laughs> um, I wanted this polish. I haven't worn this one yet. I've bought it in February. It released. And then I told myself, oh, I don't need that. Um, it's really pretty. Um, I think it released last fall. It's really pretty, but I don't need it. And then after that, it kept restocking, but it kept selling out. And I just felt like I could never catch it. Um, and then I finally got hold of it, I think in February, and I can't wait to wear this one. <sighs> the shimmer, the shifting shimmer from gold to red, and then all the scattered holographic is just beautiful, beautiful. So it's that one right there. How pretty is that gold shimmer against that red base? I'm obsessed, people, obsessed. <laughs> so gorgeous. Yeah, I think that whole, all, probably all of her hollows are prone to staining because they are crazy pigmented. The Caloris to Hero hollows. Yeah, I, when I've swatched them, I haven't gotten any staining, but that's because I've worn two layers of base coat and I haven't kept it on very long. Um, but I agree, JBT. <laughs> it's probably worth the stains. It probably is. Um, the next one is from Color Club. This one I actually wore last week. Um, so I started wearing my fall rack polishes in September because with back to school, once school is in session, in my mind and in my heart, it is fall. 
<laughs> like I know it's not till the 22nd. For me, it has been fall since September 1st. So I wore my last summer rack polish on September 1st, and I've been wearing fall polishes since then. And I wore this one. It is Color Club Favorite Flannel. The formula on this one was so beautiful. It was very creamy and easy to apply and perfectly opaque in two coats. It's that one right there. Really, really pretty. I enjoyed that one a ton. And then the next one is another cream. This one I haven't worn yet, but I saw this on two other seasonal racks. I think I saw it on Joe's um, Polish Talks channel, and then I also saw it on um, Jackie, Nurse Jackie's. Um, it's Believe Beauty, which is the brand from Dollar General, and it's called It's a Match. And this one has like a lovely Crelly formula. It's almost opaque in two coats, um, fully opaque for sure in three. Um, but the formula was really smooth and easy to work with. And if you haven't tried this brand and you have a Dollar General near you, go try it. Go try it. Especially if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of creams. They've got, I think, great creams. Um, and they're $2.50 for um, most of them. Some of them are only a dollar. Yeah. Yeah. So give them a try. <laughs> you, you won't regret it. I have a lot of polishes from them. I probably have 30 from Belief Beauty. So there's that one. And I almost put, what is it? Oh man, what is it called? OPI. Come on. The Burnt Orange. It's super popular. What is the name of it? Help me out, guys. <laughs> I almost put that OPI burnt orange that's crazy popular on my fall rack, but this was almost an exact dupe. It's a piazza cake. That's what it's called. Um, this was almost an exact dupe for it's a piazza cake. So I said, well, I'll wear this one this time. Yeah, really pretty. I have about 50 polishes, Jessica. <laughs> so we didn't do descriptions this time. I'm just showing them and trying to keep it moving. <laughs> 50 polishes. Yeah. Um, and I highly recommend putting together a, a seasonal rack. Even if you don't have that many polishes, I think it's a great way to just make sure you're wearing um, and giving attention to polishes that you haven't tried yet or that you haven't worn for several seasons. It just helps make sure they stay in the front of your mind. Um, yeah, I love doing a seasonal rack. Even if you're not into seasonal polishes, I think you could do just a... This is the, these are the polishes that I would like to wear in the next few months because I haven't worn them in a while. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, went off on a tangent there. This is KB Shimmer Slay Cozy. Um, I haven't worn this one either, but how gorgeous is the hollow? Um, just jaw droppingly beautiful. Oh, so pretty. I tried, I was going to put this one, you guys see I have nothing on my nails, but I was going to put it on really fast. I was watching all day and I was like, I want to put this one on so bad, really fast before the live. But I was like, okay, I've got 20 minutes. We're not going to, we're not going to push it. <laughs> Even though this one could be a one coater, I think it's great in two. So that's KB Shimmer Slay Cozy. <laughs> yeah, JPT. Basically my fall rack is my untried rack. <laughs> My untried fall polish rack because so many of these I just haven't worn yet. Some of them I've swatched, but I've not worn. And so I want to wear them and enjoy. You know what I mean? All right. This next one, you're just going to be quiet, Manny Centric. <laughs> it's okay. No shame here. We all have untrieds, right? Um, so this one is 1422 Designs, A Perilous Journey. And this was the first polish I had from this brand. They recently joined Polish Pickup. This was, I think, their first month, March of this year. And I just love burnt orange in the fall. It's one of my favorites. I had to take away a ton of burnt oranges. I had about 20, no, no, not 20, like 10 to 15 burnt oranges on my rack. And then I had to say, okay, Rachel, you're being excessive. <laughs> Put away some of them. Um, this one's so pretty. And it's almost a brown. It's got some iridescent flakies and then I think some gold flakies in there too. Really, really pretty. So I really want to wear that one. It's gorgeous. I really want to wear all of them. Some of them more than others. So that one's one I'm like, I'm going to make time for it. <laughs> you have it too, Jessica? I love that. 
It was one I was like, okay, I can't miss it. The swatch photos were just so gorgeous. You reorganize by season, Sarah, that's a good idea. Because that's basically why I do my rack is because for me, picking polishes from my entire collection with all the shelves, it's just too overwhelming and it's stressful. So looking at a group of 50 polishes that I really like is a lot less choice to make. You know what I mean? Um, so I bet since you have yours organized by um, season that that helps. Um, the name of the 1422 Designs. Jessica was called a perilous journey. Yep. March polish pickup. And then this next one is from Femme Fatale. And I've been loving Femme Fatale lately. I can't get enough of them. Um, it's called Golden Bird. It was also March 2021. And can you tell that that month I was just kind of feeling these kind of orangey shades? <laughs> They're like, <laughs> once my, my package came in, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. I was in a mood. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Um, but this one is so pretty. It's like got a little, I think it's got like a slightly purple leaning base, but it just got so much of that orange golden shimmer and holographic. It's amazing. This is another one I'm like, okay, we're wearing that one soon for sure. Here's what it looks like on the nail wheel. Do you see how it has like a purpley base, but then it has that shimmer that shifts gold to copper and then the hollow too? Golly, 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 golly. So gorgeous. <laughs> yes, I do it too, Carolyn. I'm glad you, you, you're you um, affirming <laughs> what I say. I'm so bad about it. I'll do a haul and I'm like, oh, look at that. I only bought pinks this month. Everything's the same shade of hot pink. <laughs> Oh, gosh. And then the next one is from Cirque Colors. This one I've worn several times. I love this polish. It's one of my favorite polishes for fall ever. I think I'll wear it every year. Um, and it's Citrine. And it is a, mm, like, mm, orange-leaning, but very yellow-orange <laughs> <laughs> jelly base with holographic micro glitters and it's scattered and oh my gosh it's so pretty I just think the shade is super unique it applies really smooth it does have a little bit of texture so I wear it with a glitter smoothing top coat but I think it's gorgeous how fun is that it's so fun I love Cirque Color Citrine one of my favorite fall polishes and I find it so satisfying. I have a little fill line on it now. You won't be able to see it. It's like to hear. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I love that one. Oh, wait. I got um, behind on my messages. Hold on. <laughs> I got to keep up. Oh, I agree, Manny Centric. Yes. I don't like missing out on stuff. It makes you sad. Then you have to hunt for it. Oh, you like citrine, Sarah? I think it's gorgeous. Oh, my goodness, Felicia. You remember. <laughs> Way back long ago. Yeah, citrine was in my top favorite Cirque Colors videos. Please don't look that up and watch it. It was a very long time ago. My videos have gotten much better since. <laughs> At least I hope so. <laughs> um, so this one is from Orly. It's called Here Comes the Sun. I think Joe from Polish Talk had this on her video too. Maybe someone else as well. Um, but it's just a gorgeous mustardy yellow cream. It's a little brighter than the musters I tend to go for. So I think I'm going to wear it. Oh no, it got a little little scrapey scrape on it. Um, but it's a little brighter than most of the musters I tend to wear. So I think I'm going to wear it here in the next week or so. Um, it'll be a nice transition from summer into fall. Yeah, really fun and pretty. It's got a little bit of an orange undertone to it. Love that one. And then beside that one, we've got another Caloris de Carol Hollow. <laughs> I have almost all of them that she's released because... They are so dazzlingly beautiful. Um, but this one is the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. And it's the yellow linear holographic. Oh, my goodness. This one's crazy. And it's like um, a deep yellow. Oh, it's so, so pretty. So pretty. 
gorgeous. And then here's what it looks like on the swatch wheel. It's a little on the brighter side too. Um, but you can see at angles how it's like a deep yellow, like a blackened yellow. Oh gosh, look at that linear holographic. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty, y'all. Yep, run, Carolina. Get all of the linear hollows from. <laughs> Sorry, am I enabling? I so, so am. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. You want it too, Sarah? Yes, it reminds me of sweet but spiky, but a little bit less bright. Yeah, would you say that to you? And then um, also without the flakes. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it. Super opaque too. Very pigmented. Um, fully opaque in two coats. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, Carolina, you did awesome on these hollows. You seriously did. All the ones that I don't have, but better believe I'm going to be getting them. <laughs> um, I think all of that collection, Carolina can help me answer that, but I think all of that collection are Goosebumps themed. Um, is that right, Carolina, that the um, holographics are the initial release were all Goosebumps? Um, this next one is from Cirque Colors, and it's called Urbanized, and I haven't worn it yet. I'm planning to, though. <laughs> it's a really interesting mustard cream. Um, it's got some more brown in it than most of the mustards I tend to wear. So here is Here Comes the Sun, um, and then here is um, Urbanized, and I'm looking on camera, and they look almost the same to me. <laughs> but in person, this one is quite brighter. The Orly is quite brighter, and then the Cirque Colors has more brown. It's a little bit muted. Um, yep, they look identical on camera. Sorry, they, they aren't. <laughs> but they're close. They're probably too close to both be on my rack. But I think, like I said, I'm going to wear this one in the next week or, week or so. Can't talk. And this one I'm going to wear, I think, closer to October, November. Because um, it just seems more appropriate for cool weather. There we go. Now we can see kind of the difference. So there's urbanized, and then there is um, here comes the sun. See, they're different, right? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh man, Carolina, you put it on your rack after you th filmed. I'm sure I will do some adding to my rack. Um, I hauled, or I have a bunch of haul polishes to haul probably next weekend. Um, but a lot of them are from fall releases this year and I'm not going to not put those on my rack. So <laughs> I'll probably do some adding later. All right. And then this next one is my last yellow is called story time and it's from Bees Knees Lacquer. This was from their haunting of Bly Manor collection. And this polish is so crugly and creepy and the shimmer is so contrasting. It is fantastically gorgeous um, and I think so perfect for fall. For some reason in my mind Bees Knees Lacquer makes a lot of polishes that for me would be fall um, polishes. But here's what that one looks like on and when this one released because I did swatch this one I haven't worn it but I've swatched it when it released I was like I don't know I mean it's pretty ugly that base color. <laughs> Especially on my skin tone, I'm just not 100% sure. Um, but the more swatches I saw of it, I was like, yeah, I think I love it. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be trying to wear that one pretty soon. Pretty soon. All right. Next, on to my greens. Yes, can you believe it? I have greens. <laughs> I had to, like, really think about which ones I want to wear, though. Greens are, like, my hardest color to pull because... I just don't usually like love greens like that. Like I get excited about red, orange, yellow, berries, get ready. I have a lot of those, <laughs> but greens, I'm just kind of like, yeah, it's a nice polish, but I don't get excited to wear them. Um, but these I am excited for. This one is from Bees Knees Lacquer. It's called Girl Power. It was from their Phantom Flakies box in February, and it is a guacamole green base. It's a little bit more muted on camera than it is in person, um, and it has all of these crazy multi-chrome flakes and some 
tiny gold pigments. Oh, it's so interesting. <laughs> and here's what it looks like on the nail wheel. I would say it's coming off a little bit more color accurate there. It's so pretty. This one was really fun. <laughs> I just think it's so unique. Oh, thanks, Jessica. I'm trying. I don't know why. Like, why not just wear stuff you naturally love? But I just want to, you know, I, I like to change it up. Especially for you guys. I want to show you some polishes that not not just hot pinks all the time. <laughs> um, I don't I don't think you would like watching only hot pinks. Can you imagine? Fall rack, hot pink, spring rack, hot pink, summer rack, hot pink, winter rack. Guess? Hot pink. <laughs> I could do it. But yeah, we're not going to. Um, and this next one is from Polish. This one was gifted to me by my friend Carolina. Thank you, Carolina. And it is called Swiss Army Sonic. And it's a really pretty army green base with a copper shimmer and then scattered holographic. And I really like it. It is so pretty. And I actually do really like the way this shade looks on me. You can see it's more of an army green than this one. It's less bright. It's got more brown in it. And that shimmer really complements the brown undertones in the base really well. And the hollow is so sparkly. Yeah, I like that on me. I think it suits my undertones well. So I'll definitely be wearing that one this season. All right, this next one, I need to shake it up. Da, da, da. All right, the next one, Lollipop Pieces. I'm going to have to look for that, Sarah. I love Lollipop Posse Lacquer. Well, Garden Path Lacquers now. <laughs> All right, the next one is from 90 Lacquer, and this one is one I got in a D stash after hearing everybody talk about it. I swear, it, I so many at least. Um, on YouTube and Instagram, the people that I follow and watch all talk about 90's Singer Auto Salvage. And when I saw it in a D stash, I was like, all right, I'm getting it because I, I need to understand the hype. I'll also add, I have not seen one bottle of this polish that doesn't have ugly bottle syndrome. They are always all messed up. <laughs> and I love this upside down for like two days. It's still pretty ugly, but it's really pretty on the nail. It does have micro glitters. Holographic micro glitter, so they create some texture. And so I paired it with a glitter smoothing top coat. But isn't that one sparkly and pretty? I like it. It's like the perfect combination of these two. It's got some brown in it, but it doesn't um, have as much brown as that one, right in the middle. So that's 90 Lacquer Singer Auto Salvage. And then the last true green I have on my fall rack is one from Indie Angel. And she does make some really impressive um, holographic polishes. If you haven't tried them, you should definitely check out Indie Angel's holographics. They're awesome. Aw, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> That's so nice. I appreciate that. I agree. Uh, totally, Monica. Uh, absolutely. I get so much stuff um, that I wouldn't always wear. And then I try it and I'm like, huh. And then that's why I like mystery bags too. And like um, mystery polishes is because sometimes you get stuff that opens your eyes a little bit. Um, but anyway, this is Moss <laughs> from Indie Angel. And it's a gorgeous Hunter Green Linear Holographic. I'm not sure if this one's still available. It was from last year's fall collection. <sighs> But I, since I got this, I got it for Christmas last year. My sister was so amazing and gifted me quite a few Indie Angel polishes. Lately, we've just been gifting each other um, polishes for <laughs> all celebrations, birthdays, holidays. You're getting polish, and I love it. I'm not complaining. Um, but as soon as she gifted this one to me, I was like, yeah, I have to wear that. Uh-oh. It looks a little bit laggy on my end. Hopefully it clears up a little bit. Uh, but it's that one right there. And isn't the linear beautiful? It's basically opaque in one coat, definitely opaque in two. I will say one thing about the Indie Angel polishes um, are they're really long stemmed. 
So I do have problems with the polish running down the stem. I have to really wipe it off before I apply it. Otherwise, I get too much polish on my nail. But they're super reasonably priced. Um, definitely check out this brand if you haven't tried it already. And then moving into some more bluey toned greens, because I have been loving blues lately. Right, JPT? My sister is awesome. <laughs> I guess she's awesome. Just kidding. She's amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessica. That does happen sometimes. Yeah, it's happened to me before, too. Um, this next one is another Caloris to Carol. Carolina, you're all, all over my rack <laughs> this season. And it is from last year's fall collection. It's called Defiance Ohio. On my screen, it's coming off a lot more blue than it looks like in person. It's definitely more of a green leaning teal. Um, but it's so pretty. And the formula is awesome. It's goes on like butter, like butter, and it's fully opaque, and I think two coats, it's that one there, so pretty, I love these kinds of shades in the fall, they're so rich, and oh, I love it, love it, love it, so that's Defiance Ohio, and all of the polishes are listed in the description box in case, um, you want to add some to your lemmings list, or your D-stash list, or you want to remember which polishes I showed you. They're all down there. The next one is another one that I have worn this season already. It's Glam Polish Skywalker. This was released earlier this year, and I didn't love it enough to buy it from the site, but when I saw it in a D stash for $8, I was like, yep, I love it enough to buy it for $8. So I did. Um, and honestly, I wasn't obsessed with this one. Um, it looks so gorgeous in the bottle. Like the shimmer looks so bright and vibrant and flashy. Um, but on the nail, it just didn't translate as much. It's that one right there. I needed three coats to get it opaque. And um, the shimmer still is kind of more subdued. So. I didn't love that one. I didn't dislike it. It just wasn't what I was expecting. You know what I mean? It's pretty, but not what I was hoping for. <laughs> um, and then the next one is from Enchanted Polish. Everyone, um, cry a tear for Enchanted Polish. I'm so sad because I actually haven't worn an Enchanted Polish. I purchased some about a month before they announced their closing. And then, of course, you know, they announced their closing and um, it was like everything sold out in minutes. So I have about four of their polishes and I will cherish them. And I can't wait to wear this one. Doesn't it look amazing? It's Enchanted Polish October Sky. And it's a really pretty blackened teal linear holographic. The linear is just so beautiful. Oh, gosh, it's so beautiful. Yes, Jessica, you need to try Colors to Carol. It's so pretty. Okay, gotcha, Sarah. Pisces. I was like, pieces. That's an interesting name for a polish. <laughs> um, so there is the Enchanted October Sky, and I'm probably going to wear that one in October. I mean, the name kind of makes me want to. <laughs> but isn't that linear just beautiful? Oh, I'm in love. In love. I'm glad you were able to get some um, JPT before they sold out. So pretty. And then the next one, we're moving kind of more into our blues now, is from KB Shimmer. And this one I have also worn. I wore it last year and I loved it. Um, it is washed up. And I think it was from last year's fall collection. It is a denim blue jelly base with gold, sapphire, and maybe copper micro glitters. And I, if I'm going to wear a glittery polish, most of the time I like for them to be smaller size glitters, like kind of on the dainty side. Um, I just like the look of that. So this one definitely appeals to me. And it's this one right here. Now, the last time I wore this, my nails were very short. Like, my nails are pretty short anyway. They were way shorter than this. Um, and in three coats, it was pretty sheer. So I'm curious to see if I'll be able to 
get it to full opacity with a blurring base or if that'll make it look weird. Um, I might end up layering it over a cream or something because um, I really like the, the mix of glitters in here. I think it's so pretty. You like denim blues too, Felisa? I think they're gorgeous. So gorgeous. Oh, I love that one. I love it. So pretty. So that is Washed Up from KB Shimmer. The next one is from Polish or Palish, if that's how you say it. It's called Space Cowboy, <laughs> which I think is a funny name. It's so gorgeous. And it is a, whew, I don't know what to describe the base. I feel like I'm not great at describing blues. Maybe a Prussian blue base with a strong red to gold shimmer. In the bottle here, it looks absolutely insane. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and then on the nail, it doesn't look as punchy as it does in the bottle. It's that one right there. It's still pretty. Cornflower, Sarah, I can see that. It doesn't look as punchy on the nail as it does in the bottle. And I've seen this one in a lot of de-stashes. I think Joe from Polish Talk had it on her rack and she said she got hers from a de-stash too. <laughs> so maybe a lot of people tried it and they were like, eh, it's not as shimmery as I thought. But I think it's really pretty, even if it's not as shimmery as I anticipated. So that's Polish Space Cowboy. And I think that one is still available too. Oh, you like that one too? Good to know. I haven't worn it yet. I can't wait to wear it. Welcome, Michelle. On your way home? Are you like in the car driving? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh, goodness. And the next one needs a shake. So this one is from Schlee Polish. I always feel so silly saying that. Schlee. <laughs> Um, and it is a gorgeous navy base with lots of shimmer shifting from red to gold to green. Oh, it's so pretty. I bought this one right at the end of last year for winter. Did I even say its name? It's called The Night is Dark. And I don't know what that was inspired by, but it made me think of Game of Thrones, which only made me want this polish more. <laughs> um, but I purchased this one from a stash last year right at the end of winter. And was like, oh, I can't wait to wear that one. Oh, the shimmer is super intense. I love it. It's got kind of a yellow lean to it, the base. Yellow undertones, I mean. Oh, just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then the next one, I've got three more blues. <laughs> I'm just loving the blues lately. I seriously can't get enough. If you want to check out what polishes I wore in my summer rack, by the way, I do post swatches of those on my Instagram. And I also um, make a reel um, for each month or I have been since maybe June. Maybe it was May. Um, sharing which polishes I end up ended up wearing. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my link is in the description box. You can go follow me there and check out my swatches of everything. And the ones that I've worn for my fall rack so far, I will have swatches posted of them very soon. Um, probably here in the next couple weeks or so. So next we have another, well, I guess it's a Crelly. I was going to call it a cream. Um, it's more of a Crelly and it's from Koki Cosmetics. It's called Inked. And it is a really deep, dark navy. My camera lights are, like my studio lights are making it look brighter than it is. Um, it's one of those ones that if it's kind of dark where you are, it looks a little bit black. Um, but if you're in a well-lit area, it's obviously a deep blue. Um, I really recommend you try Koki Sierra. They're so inexpensive. <laughs> I think I got that polish for like $3 from Sally Beauty, they, um, I think usually go for five, but they were on sale. So I got it for $3 and I think they're gorgeous. This one wasn't patchy at all. And it went on nice and smooth, got nice and dark in three coats. So that is Koki inked. I think it's beautiful. And then the next one is also kind of a curly, I guess, a creamy curly. And it's from this uh, 
this season's Orly collection. It's Blue Tango. I got a couple from this collection, this one and the teal. And I should have listened to the people who reviewed it who said, I don't know if this is a fall polish. Um, it's pretty bright for a fall, fall blue, uh, but I think it's one that's going to be great for transitioning from summer into fall. This one and <laughs> my other Orly are both going to help me get ready for fall. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it is a really pretty shade of blue. Um, it's just on the brighter side. It definitely did have a Crelly formula, and I needed three coats to get full opacity. It went on super smooth, though. This one I'm considering maybe making it a pedicure here in the next week or so. <sighs> Gorgeous. So that's Orly Blue Tango. And then my final blue is one that I have swatched and worn. And it's from 1850 Artisan Polish. It's called Blue Skies Ahead. And this was from their comeback collection, which released last year. And this one's kind of nostalgic for me because it was the first collection that a brand ever asked me to swatch for them. And I was so excited and flattered. Um, so I love that collection. I love 1850 Artisan Polish. Nikki is so awesome. Um, and I think I have a feeling this one is probably still available on their site if you like it. It's got like a... Um, metallic blue base with shifting multi-chrome flakes. It's really pretty. And here's what it looks like on, on the nail. Oh, it's gorgeous. So, so pretty. Love that one. So that's Blue Skies Ahead from 1850 Artisan Polish. I love that, Holly. As soon as August hits, it's fall. <laughs> Yeah, I love fall polishes best too. Halloween polishes, I don't get into too much. Like I'm not super into the bright greens for um, Halloween, but I do like deep vampy shades for Halloween. Like I'm going to be wearing these kinds of shades around Halloween. You know what I mean? Um, but I definitely feel you. I'm ready for fall. Summer's fun, but I love fall polishes. Ooh, I like that idea, Sarah. Maybe I will combine the two orally for some, some kind of nail art. I'm not sure what because I'm not great at nail art <laughs> um, because I don't apply myself <laughs> is why I don't take the time for it. But I might have to look up something for that because that sounds really fun. Um, this next one is one I swatched, but I haven't worn yet um, just because I didn't have time, but I would have loved to have worn it. It's called I'm Sorry, Aunt Lydia, and it was from August Hella Handmade Creations. Um, and it's saying a lot that this made it to my rack because polishes that I swatched recently, I don't usually have the desire to wear them again so soon after I've swatched them because I've seen them on my nails and I'm just like, okay, I kind of got to enjoy it a little bit. Um, I'll pull it again next season or whenever. But this one, I was like, I need to wear it again ASAP. It's like this dusty lavender with multi-chrome flakies. And then it's got some shimmer in there, some pink shimmer, and then some pink matte glitters. It's like a lot going on, but it's all very delicate and dainty. That's what I like. So here's what it looks like on the swatch wheel. And I feel like this one could go for spring too, but the dustier, dusty quality of the base kind of makes me want to wear it for fall. So I'm going to because <laughs> we can wear whatever we want, right? <laughs> Most of your fall rack is Halloween, Sarah. Is that, um, is it like neon, like greens and oranges and stuff like that? Or is it more like vampy shades? I'm curious. I hope you can too, Jessica. I got mine in a D stash. So it's possible. It's totally possible. And she brings back polishes too a lot. Sometimes I'll see she posts, um, she releases her stuff on Friday mornings and makes really small batches. So stuff sells out so fast, but then sometimes she'll bring back older things. So maybe she'll bring it back too. Um, this one, speaking of Halloween polishes, is the only one on my rack that I'm like, yeah, that's 100% for sure has to be Halloween in my eyes anyway, and it's Cuticula Banished. It was part of the Enchanted Collection released earlier this year, and I'm in love with this polish. I love it so much. It's one of my favorites from 2021 for sure. 
I already wore it when I swatched it. I put it on and was like, yep, I'm wearing this. I'm not taking it off and I've got to wear it again. That's how much I love it. It has a grapey blue toned purple base and it's got iridescent shifting flakes that look like look like rainbows and then matte black glitters in a variety of sizes. It's just too cool. It's too cool. So here's what it looks like on the nail and that just screams Halloween to me. And I would have never thought I would like a polish like that, but I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. I have a lot of cuticula too, Jessica. I want everything she makes. Everything. <laughs> oh, Alien Invited. I hope you're able to get hold of it sometime. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> Any time of year. Yeah, I could see it. I could definitely see myself wearing it in the summer. And I think it released in spring and I wore it then. So, And then it's kind of rich, like jewel tone face. So you can wear it in the winter for sure. Any time of year. Almost done, you guys. You are, are uh, I appreciate you coming so much. If you haven't already given the video a thumbs up and subscribed, I would really appreciate that. Um, and then the next one is one that I haven't worn either, but I really want to wear. It is from China Glaze, and it's called Private Side Eye. I tried to pick a variety of brands, and I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I have. This might be the only China Glaze on my rack. I think it is, which is interesting. I love China Glaze, um, but I was feeling feeling like this one out of all of them. And it's got kind of like an eggplanty purple base, a blue shimmer that's really pretty and scattered holographic. I got this one from Sally's. It was on sale on their clearance chart for like, or clearance shelf for like a dollar something. <laughs> And I was just like, ah, eh, we'll get it. We'll see. And the lighting wasn't very good in Sally's. And I got into my car and I was like, ooh, this is pretty. So the shimmer in it isn't as noticeable as it was in the bottle, but it's still really gorgeous, I think. Needs three coats to build up to opacity because it does have more of a jelly base. But that's Cuticula's private side eye. <laughs> and then the next one is from Polish or Palish. I did try to throw in some variety um, in my rack with brands and finishes and colors and stuff, but I did pick a lot of Polish or Palish. A lot of Colorista Carol too. <laughs> I've just been feeling them lately. Um, so this one's called Be Prepared and it was part of the For the Love of Polish box. Um, one earlier this year was Lion King themed. So I wanted it because it was Lion King themed. And then I also wanted it because of this polish specifically. It's like a violety base with a ton of shifting shimmer. It shifts gold to green to maybe copper. Yeah, there's a little bit of copper in there. It's really pretty. And I was surprised because on the nail... It looked a lot brighter than I thought it would be. It's that one right there. It's pretty bright um, for a fall polish. I don't know if I would have put it on my fall rack had I known it was so bright, but I'll still wear it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I agree, JPT. Purple and green is such a great combo. Ooh, I like that idea, Jessica. I could always layer a shimmery topper over that one. Oh no, is it my connection issues? Can you guys hear me okay and see me okay? Okay. No. <gasps> no. Okay. I think I'm back. Okay. It's you. Okay. <laughs> I worry. I do live out in the middle of nowhere, so I don't know. Weather. Oh no, Carolina. I hope it clears up. Then the next one is a gorgeous flaky polish. Oh, it's so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, it's happening on my end too. Okay. Hopefully it'll stop. If not, I may give it a second. Okay, we're back. I disconnected from my Wi-Fi, so hopefully um, it'll be better here if it wasn't before. Ooh, I hope. 
Okay, we're going to keep going. So this one's Night Owl Lacquer Love Bridge. This was February Polish Pickup, and I purchased this one. Um, if you're cor curious which I purchased and which were, okay, I'm turning Wi-Fi back on. <laughs> it looks bad. Um, if you're curious which I purchased and which I um, got set in PR, I'll have that info in the description box. But this one is a really pretty dusty purple with tons of like rainbowy flakes. Oh, it's so pretty. This is another one that maybe it could be a fall polish. I mean, sorry, maybe it could be a spring polish, but I wanted to wear it for fall. It's like a berry leaning purple. Oh, I love it. I love it. So pretty. So that's Night Owl Lacquer Love Bridge. Beautiful. And then get ready, y'all. I have a lot of berries. <laughs> Berry is my favorite cat color category for um, fall, for sure. I could, no joke, wear berry all fall. I could have done a berry fall rack because <laughs> I love them that much. So much love for berry. You'll have to let me know in the chat or in the comments if you're watching on replay, what is the color category you gravitate towards most for fall? I'm curious. Um, this next one is another berry. It's got kind of a purpley berry leaning base. It's kind of dusty. And then some red flakes. Yeah, red micro flakes and then a shifting shimmer as well. And it's called Raspberry Truffle. It was from the April Hella Handmade Creations. I've been loving Femme Fatale lately too. I have quite a few of theirs on my rack also. Look at that shimmer. Oh, so gorgeous. And I love raspberries. Anything raspberry is my favorite. Raspberry foods, I mean. <laughs> um, so I wanted the polish because of that too. So there's that one. And I love the idea of having that shade of purple with red. I think it's so interesting. Really, really pretty. Berry all year. I'm with you, Sarah. It's so classic. So classic. You love purple, Amanda? I think I knew that about you. <laughs> yes, burgundy is also Christine. I love a good burgundy. Olive green. I know you love olive greens, Carolina. Or purple. Orange and brown. I try to pull more brown. I realized I don't have as many browns as I wish I did. Um, so I'm kind of on the hunt for a good brown. If you have recommendations, I will take them. But I do uh, do love a good orange. Oh, I like that, Jessica. Do what you want. I feel it. All right. So this next polish for days is very similar. I mean, once again, do I have a type or what? <laughs> I mean, they're they're almost the same polish, just in different finishes, almost. This one has a little bit more of a pinky base, and it's called Ruska, Ruska, I think Ruska, and it is a pinky, purple, dusty, mauve base with iridescent flakes that shift red to gold to pink. Oh, gosh, it's so pretty. And this one I kind of just bought on a whim. What's that one there? I kind of just bought it on the uh, on a whim. I was buying from Polish for Days anyway because I wanted their rewind shade from their site. And I was like, sure, we'll throw it in the cart. It looks pretty. And then once I got it, I was like, ooh, yep, we're wearing that one first. <laughs> it went right on my fall rack. Yeah, it kind of is, Jessica. I ended up putting it with my oranges because when I put it next to my browns, it just looked too... Um, too orangey to go with my browns. But I'll come back to that in a second because I actually put a brown in my browns that I think I probably should have put with my oranges. So <laughs> I'm just all over the place. I went through so many swatch wheels, by the way. I swatched these because I want them in color order, like exactly, so I can compare them because <laughs> I'm nutty. And I... Kept rearranging and kept re-swatching, and I just finally had to say, okay, it is what it is. <laughs> Brownstone from ILNP. I've been eyeing that one, Christine. That one and the blue one. I don't remember what it was called, Skyscraper or something, and then the teal one. Oh, gosh. And the burgundy one. <laughs> that whole Manhattan collection is amazing. I want. I want to buy it. Yeah, I'm curious about the formula on that one, too. They looked kind of sheer. 
Um, this one is called Indie Angel or from Indie Angel as well. And it's moody. And I'm wearing this one actually as a pedicure right now. So I've already worn this one as well. Again, just really amazing formula. Basically opaque in one coat, but for sure opaque in two. This one I found that the linear holographic was pretty dulled with my top coat though. So I probably should have layered it with a water-based top coat um, or a water-based base coat and then added top coat because um, it does look a little bit dull with that top coat. Still sparkly and pretty, but not as pretty as in the bottle. Really gorgeous. Oh, Christine, you're talking me into getting Skyline. I already have a list long, a list a mile long of island piece I need to buy. <laughs> so I just need to throw it in as with my next purchase. I love ILNP. I haven't shown too many of those on my rack. I think I originally had a bunch and I ended up keeping only a couple. Um, this next one is from Zoya and it's called Beverly. This one released last year with their fall collection or maybe it was their winter collection and I actually wore it last year but I want to wear it again because I think it's just the perfect berry cream shade. Application was so nice. It was very smooth. I put the Z-Wide brush on it so it was even smoother. And it kind of has, it's a little bit more deep and brown in person than it is uh, coming off on camera but it's certainly gorgeous. So that's Zoya Beverly. This next one, y'all, I'm in love with. I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> Got too excited. Got Skyline too. Dash of Cocoa. I've been eyeing that one as well. Ooh, I actually have never purchased from Different Dimension. You guys will have to let me know if you um, have polishes of there theirs what should I pick up because I have a just kind of keep my cart full on their site and one of these days I'm just going to take the plunge and go ahead and press um, purchase <laughs> um, but I haven't yet um, this one is from Stella Chroma and it's called Family Man I think it's like based on the Sopranos or something um, but it's a really pretty purpley berry crelly and it's got all of these amazing holographic flakes and I love the simplicity of this polish. You see holographic flakes in like everything now, and I love it because holographic flakes are my favorite kind of flakes. Um, but you see them paired a lot with shimmers and flakes, but the flakes by themselves are so gorgeous too. There it is. And I really like the simplicity of that one. That one definitely is still available for sale because Stella Chroma keeps her polishes on her site for a long time, which I very much appreciate. Love me some Stella Chroma. And if you haven't seen their fall release, I did do a live swatch and review of Stella Chroma's fall 2021 collection. It's called the Fall Puns Collection. You should go check it out because that collection's awesome. <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet, Christine. Don't tell me. I'm hoping it'll come in um, Monday since it won't run tomorrow. The mail won't run tomorrow. But yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like a really pretty Skittle Banny, Alana. Alana? I love those. I don't have Tasha, I don't think, but I have Beverly and Mia. That would be a gorgeous, gorgeous um, Skittle Banny. Yes, you definitely do um, need the Z-Wide brushes. I love the Z-Wide brushes. I don't know if I'd even use Zoya polishes if I couldn't use the Z-Wide brush, to be honest. It is a total game changer. Oh man, Sarah, you've got to get some Stella Chroma. They have so many pretty ones. The good news is whatever you end up buying, you will love because I have so much of it and I love all of it. <laughs> this next one I've worn too. I wore it last week and it's called Next Right Thing. It's from the All Is Found collection and I think this one is still available on the Cuticula site. Um, and it is a really pretty red leaning berry polish with a, I want to say like multi-chrome shimmer and linear holographic. It's beautiful. I will say it was a lot brighter or a lot deeper actually, that one right there, 
on my nails in regular lighting than I thought. I thought it was going to be a good transition from summer to fall, but it ended up being pretty vampy <laughs> for, uh, for early September. That being said, it was still so beautiful. I love that one. Yeah, I agree, JPT. Zoya's prices are steep. But what I do is I will pay full size price, price, full, can't talk, full price for their Z-Wide brush. And then I will purchase the polishes only on sale. Um, also, if you didn't know, Beyond Polish sells their, um, their polishes there too. And they're discounted on their site, I believe. And then you can use a discount code. If you want to use mine, you can. It's Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Ray 5, I think. Um, you can use a discount code and then save even more. So sometimes I'll purchase them there. Sometimes I'll purchase them during the um, Zoya sales. Um, but yeah, they can be ste steep, especially with that Z-Wide brush. Um, the next one is Wildflower Lacquer Captive Heart. And I've got to wear this ASAP. <sighs> this one I could have pulled off in the summer too, but for some reason it just felt very fall to me. Um, it's got a really pretty deep magenta jelly base and then blue shimmer and lots of flakies. I think they're all holographic. Goodness, this is so pretty. It was from the Selena Revisited series from Hella Handmade Creations. Goodness me. Goodness me. This one is incredible. It might end up going to my favorites of 2021 polish list, but I have to wait till I wear it to decide, of course. <laughs> Gorgeous. That's a good idea, white fluffy dogs. <laughs> I like saying your name. Wait till those big sales. Because sometimes the brushes go on sale too. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. That one's so pretty. Yeah, I agree. I wish ILMP had wide, wide brushes. That's my only thing I don't love about them. But they're not inexpensive, but as far as indies go, or boutique, I guess, go. They're kind of inexpensive. So um, I would, I'm willing to um, not have the best brush for the polishes being so great and not that expensive. <laughs> um, this next one is from Picture Polish, and I've never tried Picture Polish before. I purchased quite a few of them recently, like three, I think. Um, and this was one of them. It was a recent release in a collaboration with this person. I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm just going to point this person. <laughs> um, and it's called, I think, Ronnie. And it's a really pretty bright berry um, with scattered holographic. Um, the shade of this is gorgeous. And the formula when I swatched it was perfection. It was almost fully opaque in one coat. I did go in for two, but... It was gorgeous. It also is a little bit bright for fall, but I think it'd be really great in the next, you know, a few weeks before September is over to kind of transition me from fall, from summer to fall. <laughs> Guys, I need more coffee. My brain is needing more coffee. <laughs> so pretty. So that's picture polish, Ronnie. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not. <laughs> The next one is another polish, so many polish, and I wore this one as well. I wore this one on Friday, last week, this week, this past week, <laughs> and it's called Fig. I think it's still available on the site, <sighs> and it's so pretty. I don't know what else to see, say. It's a dusty pink, and it's got shimmer that shifts green to gold and scattered holographic flakes, and I'm in love. It's like my dream nude polish. It's so pretty. I agree, white fluffy dogs. Polish could do with a brush change. Because with these kind of brushes, the square brushes, I'll show it to you. With the square brushes, it's not like it's impossible. It's not like a white, like a skinny brush, you know? Um, but with these kind of brushes, I just end up having to do more cleanup because you have to like curve it around your cuticle. Then I end up getting it on the side. You guys already know, but I wish they'd change their brush too. But not if it means they're going to increase their prices. <laughs> I will take the extra cleanup to keep the price point where it is for that one, I think. Oh, you like the wildflower, Sarah? 
It's so pretty. I think it came back this past month for um, overstock on the HHC site. Is that right, Jessica? I think Jessica got it. So pretty. Yeah, picture polish is one I'm glad I tried, and I'll probably be purchasing more of them. I wish they were a little bit more accessible. I think I got them on the Color for Nails site if you're in the U.S., because um, they are an Australian brand. Color for Nails is a stockist that has them, um, so that's where I got mine. Ooh, which brushes do you switch to, Carolina? I'm curious. Curious, curious. All right, this one is called fast fashion from Cirque Colors. And this one I'm kind of on the fence about. It's got ugly bottle syndrome too. Oh well. Um, but I'm kind of on the fence about this one. It's a dusty pink cream with some yellow undertones. The formula is great on it. It is fully opaque in two coats, but I just don't think I like this color on me. I've already worn it. I wore it last year um, for fall and it was okay. But I just don't think it's the right shade of nude pink for me. I think it just gives me a little bit too much mannequin hands. Like it washes me out a bit. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> if I like it, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to try to wear it this season so I can decide. And if I wear it and I don't like it, I'm going to be desashing it for sure. Really pretty. But I don't know if I like it on me. Not into it. White fluffy dogs. I'm just like, if I'm going to wear a nude, I want it to be that. <laughs> I want it to be fun. I'm willing to wear creams that are bright. But if I'm going to wear a nude, I need there to be something interesting about it. You know what I mean? That's a good solution, Sarah. I could put a topper on it. Very professional. Might be a good um, work polish or something. Yeah, it's pretty. Just, I don't know. I'm going to try it. And then my last pink... <laughs> After a whole pink party, so many pinks, well, purpley pink, some of them, is one from Bluebird Lacquer, and it's a recent release that I think is available right now, um, if it's not sold out. It restocked this past weekend, I think Friday, um, and if you haven't seen my Bluebird Lacquer advent calendar um, unboxing, I did that as a live stream last weekend. It was so much fun. If you came to that, thank you. It was a blast. Like I'm still cracking up um, about the events that happened in that live stream. Um, but this one um, was one of the ones I did swatch on a swatch wheel in that video. And it's called Gifted and Talented. It was part of the Fall Hollows collection. And it is a really pretty magenta berry with holographic pigment. Bluebird just does this finish so well. I want every polish in this finish. Every polish in this finish. <laughs> um, and I have a lot of them because I keep purchasing them because um, I love them. Um, it's basically opaque in one coat, fully opaque in two coats. And look at the depth of the polish because of all of those flakes. It's just insanity. Oh, and the brush is great on Bluebird Lacquer Polishes, too. Hmm. The Advent Calendar is currently available for sale for pre-order. Um, again, if you want to check out that video, I do have it on replay on my channel. But be prepared for some spoilers because I do unbox it. Of course. Of course, of course. And then the last stuff I have to share with you are some neutrals that are really pretty, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Um, the first one we're going to start off is from Colorist de Carol, and it's a throwback. Um, it is called Elf Magic, and this was from an advent calendar a few years ago. Um, I don't know when. You can tell from the old packaging, but it's a orangey-brown polish with some holographic micro glitter, and I think this is so pretty, so pretty. I got that one in a de-stash as well. So here's what it looks like on the nail. Definitely has some strong orange undertones and just reminds me of like pumpkin-y coffee and like, oh, it's so cozy. <laughs> and this one, I was almost about to re-swatch my um, wheel because <laughs> I put this one with the orange and I put this one with the browns, but they're like almost the same color. But I said, no, Rachel, don't waste your time. 
<laughs> don't re-swatch everything. But this one could either be, I think, a brown or an orange, but whatever. <laughs> it's still pretty, right? So that's Elf Magic from Coloris de Carol. Gosh, it definitely does need a glitter smoothing top coat, but it's so pretty. Root beer. I like that. And I hate root beer, white fluffy dogs. But I think this, um, th that description is perfect for this polish. <sighs> Gorgeous. <laughs> it's on your lemmings list, Manny Centric. It deserves to be. It's super pretty. Um, this next one is another brown. And like I said, I had to kind of hunt for some browns. I wish I had more. I'm going to be looking for more. I might get that brownstone. Um, this one's from KB Shimmer. It was part of their spring collection. It's called What the Fudge. <laughs> and it's a brown cream. It's coming off a little bit lighter in camera than it is in person. Um, but yeah, I uh, really like this base color. I wouldn't have liked it in the spring, but I did like the shade of brown on me. It's like a perfect mil milk chocolate brown. It's kind of cooler. Um, and I thought this one would be a great palette cleanser. I agree. I think it's um, really trendy right now, too. I'm not very trendy, <laughs> but I, I love to try. And I think this one's super, super trendy. So that is KB Shimmer. What the fudge? <laughs> and it's available um, currently as well. Ooh, good to know, Carolina. That's exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to try that out. The next one is from Bluebird Lacquer. And it's called the Rum Shaker. And this one was from Polish Pickup a few months back. Um, I purchased this one. It was before I swatched for Bluebird. But look at that linear holographic. I mean, shut your mouth. That's gorgeous. That is just gorgeous. It's like I put it with the browns, but it's very rusty. Um, I probably could have put it with the reds, but it just didn't seem to fit there. It almost looks kind of berry -y whiny. Um, but it didn't fit there either. So we put it with the browns. And this one was inspired by lipstick from the 90s. Um, I forget which specific lipstick. Um, but some rum red lipstick. I think it's gorgeous. I almost put this one on today too. But I didn't have time. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> so that's Bluebird Lacquer, the rum shaker. And then the next one I totally put in the wrong place. It's gorgeous. All the rainbows. I know, right? Linear holographic in the summer and in the fall. I can't get enough of it. Aw, good to know, Liz. Well, welcome. I hope you, uh, you have so much fun with it. Polish has brought me so much joy in YouTube. <laughs> Watching YouTubers um, share Polish with me on YouTube of course, <laughs> has brought me so much joy too. Revlon. That sounds right, Carolina. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Hell of Nails. They are so beautiful. <laughs> They're so beautiful. All right. This next one is from Zoya and it is Faye. I wore this one last year and I was obsessed with it. It is like a mauve brownie pink base with gold shimmer. And it's large particle shimmer, so it's super, super flashy. And this was one of the first non-creams I tried from Zoya. And I was like, holy cannoli, um, why don't I have more specialty finishes from Zoya? <laughs> and now I have so many. It's this one right here. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, I feel like I don't hear anyone talking about it, but it deserves a lot of love. That is gorgeous. And I feel like it's even prettier in person than it is on camera. Maybe not the best color for me, but this one's so pretty. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> it's pretty when I look at it. I love it. Chai latte. No, but I remember that releasing and it's in my cart. <laughs> I have like 20 polishes from ILNP in my cart right now. And same kind of deal. One day I'll just press purchase. Um if I don't have a lot um, that I'm wanting currently. Um, maybe soon, hopefully soon. Um, speaking of ILNP, this one is from ILNP and it's Cityscape. And I don't love blacks. I love this black. Look at it. 
look at it. <laughs> it's like the darkest dark midnight black ever with scattered holographic. <sighs> it's so pretty, you all. Oh my goodness. My goodness. It does have more of a jelly base. It's that one right there. Doesn't it just look like nighttime? <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, it's got a jelly base, so it needs about three coats to build up to full opacity, but it is so worth it because it's deep and that hollow just sparkles. Yes, it doesn't gr lean gray at all. It's like black, like nighttime. This one would be perfect if you like doing like galaxy space manicures. <sighs> Yeah, that's beautiful. I will be wearing that. <laughs> this one is ILNP Cityscape. Isn't that pretty? Cityscape. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The only true black I pulled, and I'll probably wear it the week of Halloween. <laughs> the only time all year that I really wear black is Halloween. And then I do have another black. Um, which was a recent addition. This one originally wasn't on my fall rack, but after I swatched it, I was like, yeah, I'm going to need to wear that for like a longer amount of time. This is Bluebird Lacquer. There's some crows in this house and this one's currently available. Yay. It is September Hella Handmade Creations. I don't think there was a cap on this one. So if you love it, then you should go get it. Um, it is a black-ish base. And I'm going to say ish because I thought it was black until I put it beside Cityscape and realized it maybe has some um, more of a, a brown lean to it in the base. But that might be the, just because the shimmer. It's got strong red to gold shifting shimmer and scattered holographic as well. It was basically opaque in one coat. Basically opaque in one coat. And it's black-ish and it has that much of a hollow sparkle which is just crazy to me because black polishes are always quite sheer. So they don't make all of that hollow goodness disappear. But that one still was just so shiny <laughs> and beautiful on one coat and still very deep. Oh, I love that one. That one is bluebird lacquer. There's some crows in this house. Oh, it's okay, Jessica. No problem. Cityscape and Party Bus. I don't have Party Bus. I'm curious as well if anyone is also hollow. I wonder how they compare. I do really like ILNP's compare feature on their site. Maybe you could compare the two um, and see. <laughs> That's basically my, um, my Facebook as well, Jessica. It's basically nail polish Facebook. I should have just made a new nail polish Facebook account. Um, the next one was also a gift from my friend Carolina. She shared it with me. Um, it's from Wildflower Lacquer, and it's called Dreaming of You Tonight. It was from the original Selena series um, from 2020 in May. And it is a, I want to say, like charcoal -y base with red to gold shimmer and holographic. And now I'm putting it beside the Bluebird, and I'm like... Again, I was in a mood. I was in a mood, you all. <laughs> they look almost the same. This one seems like it has some more like goldish sparkles. And this one's just straight up hollow. This one I will say is more sheer than ooh, this one. This one's really opaque in one coat. This one took three coats to build up. So maybe if you really like this one, maybe grab that one because <laughs> they're not that different. <laughs> But it's this one here. Because it's more sheer, you can see the shimmer more bright. Totally different. Okay, Grace. That makes me feel better. The base colors may be similar, but this one has definitely linear holographic and the shimmer is much stronger. So that is Dreaming of You Tonight from Wildflower Lacquer. Okay. You guys are making me feel better. <laughs> that means I can wear them both. <laughs> oh, gosh. Love it, love it. And then on to some grays. I've been really loving grays lately, which is so not like me. Usually the only time I'd wear gray is in the winter time. But I've been watching a lot of Phoebe Moon and 
mediocre Manny's Hillary, and they both love grays and talk about them all the time. And so I was like, I've got to wear some grays. Um, so this one is from Stella Chroma. It's called Severus, please. <laughs> I love the name. And it is a really pretty like concrete gray base. It's kind of creamy and it's got some blue to green shifting shimmer. It's really delicate and fine. It's gorgeous. I love Hillary too, Grace. She just seems like so authentic. Like I feel like I'm friends with her just from watching her videos. <laughs> so there is Severus Please from Stella Chroma. And it was fully opaque in two coats. Most Stella Chromas are fully opaque in two coats. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, you too, Manny Centric, only in the winter. Yeah, I thought I'd pull a few for fall. We'll see. One of them I've already worn, actually. This next one I wore two weeks ago. And it is from Believe Beauty, so the Dollar General brand again. This one, I think, was $2.50. So, again, I mean, how are you going to argue with that? <laughs> $2.50. And the formula was beautiful. It was fully opaque in two coats. And it's a really sagey leaning gray cream. I could have probably put it with the greens, but, again, it just didn't seem to fit. Um, so I did put it with the grays, but it has a strong green lean to it. It's called Serene. I didn't even say its name. <laughs> it's called Serene. And the formula of this gel effect line is crazy. It's so smooth and it dries down really, really glossy. Every polish I've tried from this line is awesome. So grab them. <laughs> grab them. I'm going to be getting some more. So Serene is that one right there. And so smooth and easy to work with. And fully opaque in two coats. Ooh, I like that, Christine. A cloudy sky, this one, right? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Sweater Stormy Weather. Is that still available, Sarah? I purchased from Moonshine Manny from the site for the first time about a month ago. So it's going to be in my next haul video. And I'm already so excited to buy more. <laughs> Looks awesome. Oh, Liz, then you're just getting started. That's, that's kind of fun, though, to just be getting started and to just be starting out your indie polish collection. All right, the next one is one that I love so much. I've already worn it, and I'm wearing it again. <laughs> I swatched this last time, but I made it a full manicure because I had to wear it again. It's called I Will Devour All of You from Bees Knees Lacquer. It was from their Resident Evil Village collection. And I would have never put this on my fall rack. Um, to me, it's just such a winter polish with like the softness of the gray base and the hollow flakes and the blue to aqua shifting shimmer. It's like super wintry. But I kept seeing swatches of it on Instagram and I was like, I have to wear that one again. I want it so bad. So here it is. <laughs> it's on my fall rack. I'll be wearing it again soon because it's calling to me. And Bees Knees has come out with a lot of polishes with this finish. There's a pink one. There's a orange one. Meteorite was released with Hello Handmade Creations, and it is like a green version of this, all with that same gorgeous soft gray base and scattered holographic, and then a different color shimmer. And I love them all. So I was like, I'll wear this one for the fall and then I'll just pick a different one for winter or all the rest for winter. <laughs> I actually, for this, I saw a Skittle Manny on someone with all of them and it was awesome. So I might have to try that for winter, maybe. <laughs> so that's, I will devour all of you from Bee Sneeze Lacquer. And if you haven't seen it, I posted a, um, video sharing with you Bees Knees Lacquer's fourth anniversary collection. Um, it's inspired by Fear Street. I posted it yesterday. You should definitely go check it out because holy cannoli, there are some gorgeous polishes in that release. Yes. Yes, there are. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, Jessica. You got to watch Gotta Love Polish. Carolina is awesome. I love her videos. Love, love, love. Manny Centric's another good one to watch. I need to eventually um, just make a video about some polished watchers I really enjoy. Polished YouTubers I like watching. 
Um, Because I would have so appreciated that when I first got into indie polish. I just need to make time for it. But yeah, there are tons of great swatchers on YouTube. Um, This next one is from Night Owl Lacquer, and it's called Fire Saga. And this was from the Fandom Flakies box from January. I wore this one already, too. I wore it back in January when I swatched it, and I knew I had to wear it again. It's on my favorites of 2021 list as well. It's got like a dirty gray silvery base with some autumnal colored multi-chrome flakes and a tonal like complementary shimmer and holographic. Gosh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And here's what it looks like on the nail wheel. So pretty. So, so pretty. It's got everything I want. The flakes, the shimmer, and the holographic. I can't wait to wear that one. I'm just waiting for the leaves to fall. And then it'll be the perfect time to wear it. So, yeah. Yep, I love Polish Mage, too. Her swatches are great. Another great one is Caitlin. Oh, I was going to say Caitlin from Streets Ahead Style. But it's Caitlin swatches now. She's awesome. Her swatches are so beautiful. And Nicole loves nails. <laughs> I should just make a list in the description box. I'll try. If you're watching on replay, I'll try to post some of them in the description box. Color Expressions is another great one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There's so many great ones. <laughs> um, and that's basically all I watch on YouTube are nail polish videos. <laughs> and I don't watch TV. I basically just watch YouTube nail polish YouTube all the time. Nail polish YouTube 24-7 because what else would I want to do but nail polish? <laughs> um, only four more to go. Thank you guys so much again for coming today. If you haven't already, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Um, that way I know you enjoy these kind of videos. This is actually my first time live streaming a seasonal rack video and I think I like it because I like getting to chat with y'all. Um, so this one is from Bluebird Lacquer. It was a polish of the month and it is called Sun Kiss Them For Me. And it is a really pretty gold um, linear holographic. It's got some like I think gold micro glitters in there as well. And at some angles it looks kind of like it shifts slightly to red. Oh, it's so pretty. I get all of the, basically all of the night uh, bees, I can't talk, all of the Bluebird Lacquer um, polish of the months because I always enjoy her formulas. But that, that one's that one right there. Sun kissed them for me. And that one might be kind of hard to find because of, it was a polish of the month a few months ago. Um, but worth the hunt, if you ask me. I think it's a really pretty soft gold, but still kind of bright. Good for fall. I think. <laughs> um, and then three more. They are toppers. I always like putting toppers um, in my rack, even though I don't always wear them. I'm not the biggest topper person, um, but I do like them from time to time, especially over creams. Um, this one is from KB Shimmer, and it is so amazing. I think this released last year for winter. And should I even? It's just a flaky topper. I'm not even going to try to say what all it shifts to. Like everything, gold to copper to orange to red to green to blue. I see all of that in here. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. So I put that over Believe Beauty It's a Match, the orange Believe Beauty on my rack. And I love them together. Gosh, I think that's so pretty. It's another one I'd love to save for when the leaves actually start to fall. I think that'll be gorgeous. Yes, yeah, some call me Coco. I love her videos. She cracks me up. She just seems like a really funny person. <laughs> like, I feel like I'd like to be friends with her because she always makes me laugh in her videos. And then two more. This one's for all you hollow taco lovers. Sarah, looking at you. <laughs> um, this one is Everything Taco, and this one released recently. Um, not with their most recent release, because I think they had a launch today. Um, but their release before their most recent, their anniversary collection. There we go. Um, and it is a crazy topper. Um, it's crazy. It's got all of the toppers that Christine 
Simply Neological has made into one topper, like all of the flakes and hollow and everything. And it's insanity, pure insanity. I've already worn this one as well. And I'm going to wear it again because I love it. I don't even think it's like super fall like, like I think it's probably more summery with all of those flakes, but I don't care. I love it. And I'm going to wear it. Um, when I wore it before I paired it with Serene from Belief Beauty. I actually had that combo on in the past few of my videos. If you watch my Bees Knees Lacquer videos, you'll see a uh, Bees Knees Lacquer Anniversary Collection video. You'll see the two together. And I loved this combo. I thought it was so pretty because this was like kind of serious. And oh, look at that. Serene. Imagine that. And then this like made it a little bit more fun um, and brightened it up a bit. So yeah, love that combo. And then on the swatch wheel is Everything Taco over Orally Blue Tango, the blue from Orally's fall collection, also on my rack. And it just looks like diamonds. It's so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of their brush. For some reason, I'm thinking, though, that they sell replacement brushes on their site. Not that I necessarily want to pay more for it, but if it's important to you, I think they do sell replacement wide brushes on their sites. Let me see. Pampered polishes. Pants. Bob's Burgers. Hmm. I bet it was from Pampered Polishes. Oh, it was from Night Owl? Interesting. Yeah, I know Pampered Polishes loves um, loves Bob Burgers, cause, so I would have thought that as well. All right, the last one. Oh, I kind of don't want it to be over. <laughs> it's from Rogue Locker, and it's called Bed of Roses. And I bought this in January, and I really love the way it looked over black, but I really didn't feel like wearing black and red in winter or in summer. So I was like, I'll save it for around Halloween. And here we are. And I can't wait to wear it. I think I saw someone swatch this over purple and it looked amazing too. So I know I could wear it over other stuff, but I like this combination. Um, so this is how I'll be wearing it. Even though I don't really like um, black polishes that much, it's like this to me is perfect perfect for Halloween. <laughs> so I have like four Halloween polishes. I'll wear them in October. <laughs> and then the rest are just for all the rest of the time. Yeah, I agree. Hollow Taco can be pricey, 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 really pricey. Um, but worth it if, if you really like Christine and um, if you really like her polishes. I will say the ones I've tried, I've been impressed with. Um, but yeah, definitely up there, especially if you live far away. Um, so lots of pretties that I shared with you again, I will leave all of them linked in the, or not linked, but I will leave all of them listed in the description box in case you want to check them out. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram as well. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate that. Um, and thanks again for joining me on the Saturday. Um, I think next week I will have my polished pickup video up, which is so exciting. And then I will also have a Wildflower Lacquer video coming up, her Koi's from the Swamp collection, um, and then a Hella Handmade Creations live stream, I think, next weekend. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure if, we'll be in, if I'll be uh, able to do it. But if I'm able to do it, I think next weekend will be a haul live stream, which will be super fun. Same time, same place, 6 p.m. EST on Saturday evening. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your weekend. Bye.